Welcome to BBC London, I'm Alpha Patel. Many cab drivers who use a car park at Heathrow Airport to wait for fares say the facilities are unsafe, unsanitary and demeaning. The drivers pay a pound an hour to park, but say their concerns over wet and dirty toilets, amongst other issues, are not being taken seriously. Our transport correspondent Tom Edwards has the story. So it's evening prayer time, and uh, these are the facilities that are available. A bus stop uh, and the rain. Evening prayers at Heathrow Airport. In a mini cab car park, this is where drivers have to pray at a disused bus stop. Those who use the car park say the facilities are unsafe. Toilets, we have no hot water, no soap, no hand dryer or towels. Praying facilities, again, really bad. It's not a praying facility, it's a bus stop on the rain and the open air. We're here for at least four or five hours a day. The minicab car park, or authorised vehicle area as it's officially known, is where minicabs have to park if they want an airport fare via apps like Uber. It costs a pound an hour. And with a huge drop in passengers due to the pandemic, it can mean long waits. This is the covered seating area drivers are meant to be able to wait in. And this is the toilet conditions. There's no hot water in here. As can clearly be seen, it's dirty. The floor is wet. And this footage shows the toilets. Drivers say they aren't clean. The airport says they are during busy periods. It also says it expects drivers to keep the facilities in good condition. Drivers' unions regard that as insulting and racist. We've tried to work with Heathrow for months now, but they just have not been receptive or even listening to the concerns that have been raised, not just by us, but by many drivers here. And something needs to be done. Heathrow is making an awful lot of money. They need to provide safe, sanitary and dignified conditions for workers here. Heathrow Airport says under normal circumstances, prayer rooms would be open in its terminals, and due to health and safety, it can't provide them in any of its car parks. For drivers, though, who have to wait here for work, they say these facilities are totally demeaning. Tom Edwards, BBC London.